Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Total War Free Kingdoms with Li Zhang, but not for long. Actually, no, it's not Li. It's like Li Yan, but not for long. Soon, Li Zhang. Anyway, where last time left off, we had an army, the army from Lady Zhirong in our territory. Well, actually, not in our territory. Uh, yes, it is our territory. Sorry, I'm very confused right now. Uh, anyway, we're gonna be fighting them this coming turn or this this turn. I'll be attacking them in a minute. I am. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Um, however, before that happens, there's a couple of things that I need to talk about. The first couple of episodes of this campaign have gone up so far, and uh, people have been commenting and stuff. Um, one of the things that people have been commenting is that it's something that I just never noticed, I guess. I don't know. Um, family members don't cost uh, or don't have a, a, a salary. It's very nice. I didn't realize this, which is also a point, by the way, because we had at some point, I don't know if they're still available, probably not. Uh, we had our two other sons that I could have just taken, uh, Liu Fan and Liu... Uh, no, I think it was Liu Dan and Liu, Mia, uh, Liu Mao. The, these two, either way, two of them were at some point available for recruitment. Um, and I chose not to because they weren't particularly good. I don't necessarily think that that was a bad choice. Uh, yeah, this guy's all right. Either way, they weren't like amazing or anything. Uh, I'm mostly looking for unique characters, of course. Um, having said that, they I could have recruited them and they would have cost me no upkeep whatsoever. This is something I didn't realize until now uh, because people have been commenting it. So there you go. Uh, one other thing is that Aspiration, apparently you keep gaining this after your faction leader or after you choose to inherit. And also inheriting doesn't kill off the previous character. He just becomes a regular character in your faction, which could be slightly problematic because he has that... Uh, he is ambitious, so that's not great. Um, actually, yeah, it's just that, really. He's ambitious, so he's not going to be super happy. But you can actually make him your heir again as well, people said. So, yeah, maybe I will. Um, but, yeah, you still gain aspiration afterwards. You lose, of course, the trade-offs and stuff, but you still gain it from having cities at certain levels, which is something we did find out uh, at some point as well. It's a very small amount, but still. Um, something else people said... I can't remember. There were some people telling me I should have done things differently in the beginning. Like, so not turning these on and then doing some trade, and then I would have had 1500 income right away. But that was all like irrelevant because I had 1500 income anyway, and I've still unlocked the one that, whatever that was, uh, this one. Knowing of 50 living factions, people told me how to do that as well, but obviously we just took a trade port, traded with the Dong Min, and then we found out about all the factions on the way, and that got us to 15 as well. So that wasn't really something that we needed either. Um, but one more thing that's actually a pretty big deal. It's something I've apparently been doing wrong for a long time, uh, and that is recruiting Jian Sword Guards. Now, here's the thing. I'm obviously, at some point, I made the decision that I liked Jian Sword Guard more than Saber Infantry. And I, may, I must have made that decision based on particular reasons, in, you know, probably them being better. Because you'd think so, that normally, I, norm, you guys know me, I generally make the right decisions in terms of, you know, how I see value of units. You know, just because they're more expensive doesn't mean they're better necessarily. But in this case, I must have thought, okay, these guys are significantly better than Saber Infantry. I'm going to recruit them. But I think, and I don't know for sure, I could go for the patch notes, but I think that somewhere along the line, these guys were either nerfed or Saber Infantry or buffed, or maybe a little bit of both. Because now, I don't know if I can actually recruit Saber Infantry here. Uh, I can't. But I can show unavailable. It should be in here somewhere. Saber Infantry. If you compare these two, uh, yeah, this guy's level one, so that works. Um, Saber Infantry, they do have significantly low morale. That's like, maybe that was the reason. I honestly don't know. But they have higher charge, eh. They have higher melee attack rate. That's good. Better base damage, but lower arm piercing damage, eh. They have, uh, oh, interestingly, these guys have actually got higher melee evasion. I think that's because she might have increased it somehow. Yeah, they, uh, she adds five. So actually, um, Saber Infantry have better because th it's not calculated on this unit yet. These guys actually have, uh, or these guys normally have 38 and now they have 43. These guys with the buff would have 45. Uh, anyway, they have better armor. They have better missile block chance. They don't have better melee uh, whatever the fuck that thing is, this one, melee shield something, armor shield in melee, uh, and ranged actually. So basically the point is, they're cheaper by 25 bucks a turn, uh, which adds up, and the only thing that's significantly better for the Jian Sword Guards is morale. And I do say significantly, because it actually is a drop from 
nine or of nine points although i don't know if we buffed that in any way shape or form but i don't think so so it probably is just straight up nine points difference which is actually a pretty big deal the health of course is irrelevant because the unit's not full health right now um so yeah it's i don't know it, it, looking at it again now i'm still not entirely sure i feel like the morale is more is pretty important because of course that like my whole my whole tactic lies on you know my frontline units holding the line so my cavalry and inf and uh, range units can do damage so i do need high morale but looking at them like this i think that saber infantry maybe are better but i don't know i'm starting to doubt myself again now, now that i'm looking at it people t people were like i want someone mentioned basically i wonder what serious trivia would think that you recruit john sword guard instead of saber infantry and then i looked at him in the custom battle thing and i was like yeah why do i recruit john sword guards but now I'm looking at him again, I'm like, eh, a little bit more damage. I don't care about damage. The damage is irrelevant. The melee evasion's nice, and the armor's better, and... Yeah, like, armor and... So they have slightly higher survivability, but then they, has le they have less armor from the shield. So that kind of just becomes the same, doesn't it? Because they have 6% more armor, but 8% less shield armor. But then they have slightly more higher missile protection, but that's, eh... The melee evasion is definitely higher. You know what? I still think I actually stand by John Swordguard. I'm not gonna lie. I just I've just I've just talked myself out of it again. I think that I think John Swordguard are better. They are 25 bucks more expensive, but I think that nine morale, that morale is just too big of a difference. I'm gonna stick to what I've uh, I'm gonna stick to my gut. I'm, I made the decision at some point. Maybe there was no nerfs and, and stuff, and I just made this decision at one point, and I'm gonna stick to it and, and still make the decision right now. Right, there's a bunch of people available. That was basically all the stuff I wanted to talk about, by the way. I don't think there's anything else. Um, the main was one was actually this this comparison, but now again, now that I've looked at it, I actually don't think I was wrong necessarily. I don't think it's I don't think it's very clear. It's not you know katana samurai versus yari samurai. It's just you, it, this is just too too close of a comparison. I think there's merits merits for both both units. Um. That minus 20 satisfaction, I, it's summer right now, so we're going to get, what, harvest, or is it, yeah, harvest, then fall, then winter. So this should go away before I inherit, or at the same turn as I inherit, I think. I fucking hope it does, otherwise if we inherit, Leon's going to be super unhappy immediately. Um, right, we got a new item I want to give out, so I think that's just going to go to you. Um, movement camp range when he's commanding, which he's doing, speed, retinue, sure, that's, that all sounds pretty good. Um, then we have some things to do here did i i already do this faction council thing yes we did that one right we nerfed her basically she also as far as i can tell doesn't have that buff anymore she's also slightly wounded on some of our units which is interesting but she doesn't have that buff anymore i'm pretty sure burning what the wait is that that's a damage thing they do i'm assuming they deal fire damage okay i got you I still don't. I've never played as her, so I still don't actually know what that thing means. But I know she can. She makes all of her armies like better for a couple turns, and then once she's cooling down, they're a bit worse. But I, I don't know where I can tell why they're worse or how they're worse. I don't think there's a stat for that or anything, as far as I can tell. Holy shit! Um, but anyway, they're all fairly wounded. We're a little bit wounded as well, but let's go murder. It's gonna make that a night battle as well. It's actually a valiant defeat right now. That's not good um they got some tigers that's always bad i don't actually i god this is where that problem comes in again that i haven't fought against nanman enough to, to know how to beat them necessarily the tigers for example well, what's the best strategy against tigers do you use do you just shoot them do you just wait just let them die in melee do you trample them with cavalry? I, I assume they're probably good against cavalry, but I don't know. It's a good thing me and Sirius Trevi are not going to be playing as a uh, Nanman factions, because that'd be that'd be bad for me. Um, I don't really want to set up in the forest, because then I'll burn the forest around me, and that's not good. So let's just go back, back here. We are attacking them, though, so they might sit back. Also, give me one second. All right, I've upped the audio a little bit. It's just, it's the same as always. It just sounds really low for me for some reason. Oh yeah, I have two different archers. I always have to remember those. Um, yeah, just put them on the flanks, I guess. I don't really, eh, no, I should put them in the middle. I think I've had this discussion multiple times now. Oh, whatever. Just put them down. 
Then we've got our line of infantry broskies. We have no cavalry to be worried about, so I'll just make a line. I'm not too fussed about it. And then you can go on that flank. And then we got our own cavalry who are going to be very strong, except all the forest stuff's going to be a bit annoying, but we should be all right. And of course, our generals. Let's do it. Right, so we are attacking them, so they might just sit back, and it looks like that's exactly what they're doing. So, I'm going to have to move up through the forest. Lovely. Also, I think I've... <clears throat> that's the thing that came up in the live stream a couple of times. People are saying that the standard shot's actually better than flammable round. And I tried it, and it does seem that way. Again, I know like the trebuchet has been through so many changes over, over the years, I guess, at this point we can say. Um... And obviously the explosive shot used to be incredibly overpowered. Then they nerfed it to Oblivion. Then they upped it again a little bit. I think that's where we're at. I don't think they they changed it anything more than that. That's what I recall anyway. It's been a while. Um, but I I feel like the last times I played, I still used flammable shot because I still thought it was better than standard shot. Like if they're not, then there's there's almost never a reason to use flammable shot. I mean, there is in this case, I guess, because of the we can burn down the forest that actually does something. But other than that, there's like no reason to ever use flammable shots because um, it, even against walls, flammable shot is like significantly worse. It is just less damage against walls. So there's no reason to do it. And in what other case would you ever use flammable shot? Except I suppose against non mounts specifically because they have a weakness to fire. But well, some of them do anyway. These guys do. So I, 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 I God, I don't know. 3K is more and more becoming a mystery to me, especially now that I've got the. 3k the co-op series with series trivia on the way all these people are I, we haven't started recording yet by the way but yeah all these people are telling me about all the cheese he uses and stuff and i'm getting more and more worried basically i just wanted to do a co-op campaign for the most part um but we somehow ended up kind of doing co-op slash head-to-head -head, like we're going to turn on each other at some point probably which is okay, I guess. I'm just now super worried that he's going to absolutely fucking wipe the floor of me. What the hell is their morale? Um, everyone's Basically, everyone was offering me condolences in his, uh, when he, in the, on his announcement po post, basically, saying, like, oh, serious trivia is going to fucking ruin Donkey, blah, blah. And initially, I was like, well, don't count me out yet. I'm a pretty decent Total War player. And now I'm like, yeah, you're probably right, because <laughs> apparently there's all this stuff that he does and I don't. Because I don't really like cheese too much. I'm not going to sit here and say that I never use any, but I, uh, I don't know. I'm still excited for it. I'm, I'm looking forward to the co-op portion for sure. I'm just not really looking forward to getting my ass beat, to be honest. I'm just looking for a bit of fun. Can you start firing? You are absolutely in range. I guess I'll move up a little bit more, but... And also, I, I might I might sound very negative right now. I'm I'm not. Uh, don't don't go over to Serious Trivia's channel and be like, oh, Mr. Smartong is pushing out. He doesn't want to play against you. It's not like that at all. That's not what I'm saying. Um, speaking of Serious Trivia, Serious Trivia, can you tell me why the fuck my trebuchets aren't firing? Sometimes they do that, and I don't understand why. I'm just gonna tell them to fire. See what happens. Is it like is there a hill in the way or something? No, they just they just didn't feel like it. Or wait, <clears throat> no, they're still not firing. What the fuck is going on? Hello? It can't be because there's a slight slope in the way. Because you're a fucking trebuchet. You just shoot over it, right? What is... What's happening? Is this seriously because there's a slope? That is ridiculous. Hello? What? Okay, I'll select a unit specifically. Yeah, okay, then I'm just gonna move. Alright, this is fucking dumb. What the hell? What? <laughs> Who thought this was a good idea? Oh, you know the thing that has like a really high arc? Let's make it not be able to fire when there's a slight slope in the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, maybe now you can fire? Yeah, you're trying it. That's good. That's a good start. There we go. Alright. Now, honestly, all those units that are like super low morale, a single hit will probably scare the shit out of them. Route them. This is a battle that I don't... I, I want to try and kill as much as possible because, of course... There's a unit here that can see. Really, that one. Um, because of course there's this the thing that they will oh fuck there's tigers they're actually quite close if they see me they might just send them at me 
Uh, they, this is, I know it's their enforced march stance, but this isn't Warhammer. They don't just die when we, if we defeat the army, which I really wish they would. Um, they will still run away, and I don't know if I could reach them again for a second fight. So if we just, like, make them rout instantly and only kill, like, a handful of men, that doesn't really help us a whole lot. Trebuchet, please, be better than this. Fire archers, what the, did they fire? I'd imagine they fire fire arrows. But, uh, I don't know. You are still somehow seen. How the fuck can they see you? Why is there, like... Why is this forest so weird? Like, it's... In some places you're apparently hidden, but not in all of them. Like, what? how does that work? Whatever. I'm getting more and more confused by free kingdoms. At <laughs> the mo the, the, every second I play, I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Can you hit a single unit? That'd be great. How many kills? We got nine kills so far. Jesus. This is ridiculous. They don't have a weakness to fire, though. These guys do. Alright, fire at them. And stop messing it up, please. We had a real good opportunity to hit a couple of them and just route them instantly and finish them off of our camp. But we just haven't been able to use that because the game... Or our trebuchet is like, nah. I think today I might just not hit anything. Nice, good shooting and great. This is... This is... <laughs> I know there are only two experience. No, there are only one experience even, but still. Come on. You can do better than that. Oof, that's a little scary. Those fire archers have seen me. We've been spotted. Okay, you're gonna go around here. You're gonna follow these guys. That unit's gonna get fucking ruined. Have you hit anything yet? Nine kills still, so I think the answer might just be no. Oh, here comes another shot. Oh, oh. I'm gonna kill one guy. Yep, 10 kills. What do you do? Okay, we took down that archer, but now you have to be real careful because there's a whole lot of tigers that have just been unleashed. What if I just run off the map? Will they just run with me? Are we faster than them or no? I feel like tigers should be faster than cavalry, but holy shit. I haven't looked at these yet, but my guys are all wounded, so I'm guessing that's gonna be a no no. Yeah, I don't know if this is a good fight. Maybe I should run them towards my <laughs> spear units. <laughs> also, they might just only be chasing a single unit, so let's find out which one they're chasing. We're running in separate directions. It looks like they're chasing this one. Alright, so you're gonna go here, and you're just gonna be able to turn around and kill shit. Okay, you're gonna kill shit as well. There's, is there a lot of stuff that's hidden right now that I just can't see? Yes, there is. Uh, question answered. Alright. Go kill the tiger handlers. Don't turn around and kill them, though. You go over here, actually. Leave them be for now. It's more important shit to murderize right now. Where the tiger? Oh, there they are. <laughs> There's like a legion of tigers over here. Are they tired? Are they tigered? Oh, God. I don't even know if we can route that unit easily. Okay. Because we are currently not doing a lot of damage to it. Unless the, that, like, obviously, it, the, the fuller it is, the more people there are. Okay, I need to actually pay attention to this shit now. Um, it could be, ooh, that's a lot of people on you right now. It could be that it just doesn't show, um, because half the unit is actual tigers. Right, well, let's see how they do when they run into my spears, who I can't put into sp Is there already some, there must be something in there already. Ooh, fuck, another unit as well. Uh, okay. Oh, I've actually had a unit route. This isn't... What the... F Hello? I thought we were winning this, like, super easily. What's happened? Okay, you get in the back of this stuff over here, please. Where's my other calf? They're back here, obviously, because they have to deal with the tiger units who are mauling through my spear guards as, it, as we speak. You guys are supposed to be hitting her. Hitting on her. Um, I need one of these calf units to run in the back of this stuff here. So there's a lot of stuff. You need to keep murdering. I need to have someone back there at least doing the murdering. Doing the old murderization. Actually, yeah, go over here first. That unit is not doing so hot on the old morale either. God, they are fucking wrecking me over there. What the hell is going on? Okay, get in there. Has this game been more, been more difficult recently or something? Okay, we're just slaughtering her. I think she has Oath Sworn, so there's other people to get healed if we attack her or if we kill her, but... Oh well. 
Oh, well. Cavalry did all right. Got two units of cav in there. Let's get some out of there. We have you standing back doing fucking nothing. Okay, we're breaking through. Uh, actually, just go over here. I need help over here. Have we taken her down yet? No. Come on, boys. I guess you might try and... Yeah, she's running. Fucking kill her. If he's running, he can't do the Oathsworn thing either if we take her out, right? So that could be perfect timing on that. Alright, so you, you've you done alright, I think, dealing with the Tigers and, like, a couple extra units as well. What did she say? Oh, the enemy unit flees. That's what someone said. Okay. Alright. Uh, this guy's the only one who's not routing yet. He actually doesn't have infinite morale, so I'm surprised he's not routing yet, to be honest. I'm assuming Tigers are unbreakable, by the way. Yeah, it looks like they are. Okay. Tigers know no fear. You do not know fear. You do not know pain. Have we taken our rats? Is that why you guys are... Yes, I guess we have. Alright. Oh yeah, this guy's gone fucking mad man mode because of that. Okay, let's go take that one out. You keep chasing this Wunu. Wunu. Okay, do it. Make it happen. Cavalry's having a fucking field day over here, murdering shit. There's still a couple of tigers. Oh no, these are actual. These are the actual warriors. What the hell? This guy came out of this uh, thing and wants a jewel now. In fact, let's have a look at those stats. Uh, can I just look at the stats without? Oh my god, please. I need. Uh, we have we attack faster. We have. Oh, he has sixty percent melee evasion. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. That's the only stat that really matters there, to be honest. He's about to route as well, which is good. Did you take... Oh, you took out that guy. Nice. I guess. I can't. I mean, I can't see him anymore unless he hits somehow, but... this one cab over here still having a field day, murdering shit. He's actually finally taken down a unit. Took it long enough. So, yeah. Decent shit. It was not the best battle. We lost two infantry, in fact. I don't think they're actually dead. There goes one of them. No, that's one of my cav. I won't be able to actually see them anymore. There's one of them. 77... No idea where the other one is, but I can't imagine I've lost a unit down to 23. I guess there's a... should be a button for this, right? Maybe not, in 3k. A button to light up all friendlies and all enemy units. Again, I might have just forgotten what it is! 16! Don't need to kill them anymore. I don't think we can reach that unit. There's definitely shit over here that we can still murder. Uh, you won't be able to do anything else, so whatever. Just keep it up. We have a lot of stuff over there to murder. I definitely haven't... Yeah, I could send you elsewhere. Where are all my calf? I only have three, I guess. The one's running away. You're killing a unit, that's fine. You are still... No, you're done. Can you catch up with them? Maybe. That one's not dead yet either. There's definitely going to be some stuff that gets away here. I'm not... I'm not uh, surprised by that or anything. But I do hope we can kill a little bit more. Again, I don't think I can actually reach their army. Although, having said that, we, we reduced their movement range by 35%, didn't we? So, we should be able to catch them next turn anyway. Plus, they're in my territory, or at least I'm in my own territory. You are not really doing a lot of damage here, are you? The fact that he's still on 25k HP makes me think that maybe you're not so good at chasing people. See, that doesn't really help. The bumping into him doesn't really do a whole lot. You need to use that sword of yours. I know it's not a very good sword crap quality but all you do is just like ah just swing it swing it in this direction i know he's got a massive fucking torch for some there you go that's how you do it doesn't look like you actually did much damage but oh you, you're doing it you did 2000 damage so far keep it up it's only another mile to the edge of the forest anyway all right cavalry 59 definitely gotta keep killing them you actually ended up reaching the fire archers and one more yes you wiped them out sweet Good man. And horse. Good horses. You're done. I don't think there's anything else you can really get to, though. I'm going to start sending you this way, but it's unlikely. I should also really be triple speeding this as well. Have you killed that unit? Oh, you have as well. That He's done fucking well here. You, get in there as well. Still got a ways to go. No, no, don't get caught over there. I did say you, you did well, and then you kind of ruined it by doing that. You did not kill that man. Well, you tried, I guess. Oh, I'll kill one of those and they're gone. That'd be great. Oh, God. Oh, no. You're not going to reach, are you? No, you should be able to. Come on. Don't be a prick. 
All you gotta do is kill one of them. Alright, I should be able to charge towards them now. Why are you so slow when you charge? She lit Okay, there you go. She was like slowing down as she charged. Okay, there you go. Killed enough of them. These guys all got away. I think that's really all I got, to be honest. I'm gonna assume it is. Close victory. Alright. If you say so. That was a pretty lengthy battle. Although, well, no. I was going to say, because the episode's almost 25 minutes long so far, or about 25 minutes long, but the first 10 minutes were me just talking about Saber Infantry versus John Swordguard. Yeah, didn't lose any units. 69 is the lowest we got, which is perfect. We killed everything bar four units. That was James in the background, in case you're wondering. Um, pretty good. And we should be able to reach her again next turn. I am going to take the replenishment this time. Because we really need that. Oh, we did wipe her out. Well, that's unexpected. Liu Yan ranked up from that. Uh, yeah, go for those. We already have nine battles from her. But we still need to go down this way anyway with him, so whatever. Okay, and we also got a bow. That's it, we already have the Overseer. A bow. Well, we can keep that one in our back pocket for now. That's not where you keep a bow. Alright, well, that's good, but I was kind of hoping for more, to be honest. Oh, Liu Bei wants to trade. Well, I might be able to oblige Liu Bei. How much money will you pay me? Not a lot, because I'm already doing a food deal with you. Well then, why don't you pay me some insta-cash? Uh, that's not going to be anywhere near how much he's going to want to pay me. Unless, of course, he has some ancillaries, which I'll have a look at as well. He does not. Alright, so let's just make that 1100 or so. That's pretty good. 11.25, just up a little bit. 11.10. Uh, 11.11, fuck it. Oh, come on. What about 11.10 then? No, okay, fuck it. 11.00. Fine, you drive a hard bargain, Mr. Mr. Liu. Um, fought your fam, man. The hell. Cool. And of course, in a couple turns, our income is going to fucking skyrocket. Um, once we... So maybe still, okay. Yeah, once we get the inheritance thing and we don't have, what is it? Minus, or plus 50% character salary, minus 50% trade influence, minus 20% income from all sources. That's it. Like once all those things go away, we're gonna make so much fucking cash. It's insane. Also our character gets 10,000 experience, but that isn't actually a lot, is it? Let me have a look at that. Because he, yeah, he needs 30,000 to level up from level 4 to level 5. So 10,000 right now would get me there, but it's not, like, it's only a third of a level right now. It sounds a lot better than it is. They should have made it, like, 50,000 or something, or 100,000. That still would have only been, like, two levels, depending on what level you're at. Um, happiness is absolutely terrible. That recent event needs to get the fuck away, because that's getting really annoying. I'd like to get high, or normal satisfaction or high satisfaction soon. Um, what are the other trade-offs again? The upkeep one, yeah, we don't have that one enabled. I could, but I, I really don't think we need more aspiration, to be honest. I'm, I'm really not that fussed anymore at this point. So let's leave that. I, I just don't know what to do with the army. Do I start heading down here? God, why is this army so fucking slow? Have we been targeted by someone else's faction council? Is that what's going on? I don't think it is, because it would tell me down here, I assume. We also have terrible supplies. I think we're just going to head back into town and just wait it out for a bit. I don't think I want a triple sp or a force march because we are replenishing still. Slowly as we are. Does this thing I just can't remember if this... I think it does actually. Severe attrition for military supply shortage minus 8 morale. So yeah, I think if you have high supplies, I think you... It, there, I don't know if it's better as a replenishment but there definitely are some bonuses. It might even give you a movement bonus. I don't even remember. Either way, that's going to get better once we... I mean, I guess I can turn that one off. Uh, or did I already do that? Military supplies, no, this one here. Nah, it's only three more turns. Fuck it, just suck it up. Hopefully this turn we're gonna make it through. Right. What do I want to upgrade? This definitely. That's what I was saving up for. Uh, we have very little happiness, but that's okay. And I guess I can upgrade something else too. So, food or food. Um... Can't afford that anymore. I'm actually 22 bucks shy. If only Liu Bei would have got me 22 more bucks. What an asshole. Well, he ruined it for me. 
Um, let's go for that one because that one reduces the cost of agricultural buildings. I never really think about that to be honest because it's a total whatever, but yeah, it would make this one slightly cheaper. So sure, why not? Okay, uh, any other trade? We have some food, but not a lot. So I think I'm just gonna keep that. That's not relevant. We have a coalition with Liu Dai we could form. Wow, I am so tempted. Does, does that sound genuine or not? Uh, no, nah, I mean, we're good. I don't want to support Vassal Independence because they're not gonna pay me much for it. So let's end the turn. I did, I did say I was going to look at all those new characters that were available, but it's not like I really want to hire anyone right now anyway, to be honest. I want I want uh, unique characters, and those, those haven't really popped up yet. Still haven't seen Duosi arrive, if that even is his real name. It is. Uh, it, why does it always skip one of these? I think this is a problem with the new patch or something. It always seems to skip an event, but like it doesn't tell you about it. Or maybe they did that on purpose. Like they made it so you don't have to go through all the stuff that isn't really relevant to your faction anymore. I don't know. Tax collector, that's pretty good. And a new faction capital for Huang Xiao, who is all the way over here somewhere. That that's is that no, that's Liu Bei. He's over here somewhere. He's whatever. I guess he's got a new capital because you lost that one. <laughs> um Alright, so your terrible movement's not gonna get you very far. I do wonder if I should head for Duosi now. It's just that I'd have to go through this territory to even get there. And she's weak right now. I ah, it just sucks. I think for now, again, we'll sit until the until we've inherited, which we're two turns away from doing. I really hope this goes away on the turn that it runs out. So in two turns, it is actually just gone. It doesn't say zero turns remaining because we might actually really be fucked if that happens. Also, that assignment, he's still on it for 13 more turns. We could put her on it as well, so that way we'd have another 10 happiness, which I guess there's no reason not to do that. Minus 50% corruption, sure, why not? It's not like that really is going to make a difference or anything, but... So that should give me an extra 10 happiness next turn as well, and then we're going to be so fucking happy. Everyone's going to be well pleased to be part of my faction. I'm half tempted to put someone in here, but it's just so expensive. But yeah, that give me another um, council thing, and the council really is a very interesting thing in this game. It's probably my it's I, I haven't seen all the new things yet, but it probably is my new favorite like overall change to all factions, not just a unique one. I'm looking at my desktop audio on on OBS, and the audio is really fucking quiet, even though I upped it already. I don't know what's going on. Give me two seconds. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. I haven't changed the audio or anything, but... I also probably forgot to edit that part out, honestly, because I didn't put a, a clap in. Normally I do a, that one, but louder, because that way there's a big old uh, audio cue for me to for remember editing something out. What a amazing story, Donkey. Wow, thanks for telling us that one. Um, let's end the turn, rather than just sitting here doing nothing. I kind of want to get to the point where we inherit this this episode. I want to see that shit happen. I'm not. Oh, there he is. Okay, looks like we're fucking sprinting towards Zhang Yong after all. Oh, loyal loyal versus dutiful. We can be friends with our wife or with this random dude. Let's do let's be friends with our wife. That I feel like that makes more sense. Uh, I don't know, a bunch of randoms. Again, there might be people in here. This is some of the, this is one of those things where if I see someone who's not who's not got unique art, I say randoms, and then people in the comments are like, "Oh my god, I can't believe you dismissed this person, Li Yuhe, even though he was significant in the war because he himself single-handedly took down Bloody Blue, and then you know that thing happens all the time. But don't take it." Don't take it seriously. What I what I mean is there's no unique characters there. Like some of them might have actual extra stats, but I just don't want to go through every single one of them and find out that they don't. All right. Uh, I don't think he can reach in a single turn. I certainly hope he can. Oh, maybe he could. That would be really annoying, actually. Especially if I start sprinting. Will I be able to reach next turn if I sprint? Yes. Well, I'm still going to do it. 
This could be a very annoying turn coming up here, because we are one turn away from the thing happening, finally. The actual thing. Um, we have almost no money, because I spent it. I still can't... Yeah, no, this is not really, it's not really much I can do. So let's end the turn. Let's see if he actually can reach. I, don't, I, I, I think he might be able to. Coalition with Liu Bei. He wants me to give him a bunch of stuff, though, for it. I'm gonna reject. I, I wouldn't mind being in a coalition with Liu Bei, but I'm not gonna give him a bunch of stuff for it. If we can just be in even grounds, respect each other for what we are, I'll go for it. But all right, here comes Tuosi. There he is. Okay, he didn't reach, but he did take another town, which isn't. That's fine by me. All right. Yes, the minus twenty happiness thing went away. He could. Oh, he confederated with them. Okay, so he didn't actually take him out, which is worse for me. Your heir's prospects will change. Next turn, okay. Your heir waits in the wings for an opportunity to take the mantle, but if they must wait too long, their enthusiasm will start to wane. Soon, if action is not taken, your heir's prospects will change, and not for the better. Well, I'll oh, see all these things. It didn't tell me about all these, did it? She confederated as well. Hmm. Or, wait, maybe, maybe it said something else. I don't know. Here we go. I'm inheriting. Once you inherit, you will no longer be able to use trade-offs or complete tasks. You will pass control of the faction onto your heir. Inheritance triggered! The faction's mantle has been... Oh, 2300 bucks immediately. Passed on to another. It is now up to the heir, nay, the new leader, to guide this faction to glory, using whatever tools the predecessor left behind for the purpose. I should have actually gone through the ones I... Un well, I guess I can see it here. So I didn't unlock the re recruitment one... Or replenishment one, sorry. Didn't unlock the recruitment one. Didn't unlock the Insta building one, and we didn't unlock the big one. The actual only other good one I would have considered using, really, is the campaign movement range and morale one. That would have been really good, but for that one, we needed to take 10 towns, I think, which is just too difficult. Right, so we... Oh, look at the happiness. Oh my god, instantly we've gone from low satisfaction probably to high satisfaction next turn. Holy shit. Um... I did. I thought it was going to get worse, but somehow went better. So yeah, you leveled up because the 10,000 experience. Also, he gained some stats. I should have gone through all the stuff he gained again. Because I feel like I... Oh, there you go. So 10 resolve, 15 authority, 10 satisfaction, faction white. Oh, right, that's pretty good. 10% melee evasion for uh, hit the current error? No, I'm assuming that's for him. I'm assuming this is just post... Like, it's telling me the error, but obviously we were the error, so he got the 10% melee evasion. 50% uh, movement range in his army. That's going to be good, because currently our army movement is fucking terrible. Te uh, six more Dong Xiaobing marksmen and defenders, and an extra trade agreement as well. And the experience, of course, which we already touched on. So yeah, we can move much further now, which is very nice. Still can't quite reach the town, but I think that's okay for me. Um... Supplies are still crap, but that's because it's winter right now. We gained a trait, which is timely inheritance. Interesting. Uh, yeah, okay. And we ranked up. We also ranked up with her, apparently. Right. So you need to get you need to get all of this stuff. Do we want to go... I think we grabbed this... Yeah, so last time I was considering, right? And I think this one's pretty good. This one... Not so much. Yeah, we'll go for that, and then we'll grab this, and then go that way, and then down that way, or whatever. We'll figure it out. If she even stays in the faction. And I haven't loved you up yet, either. So you're going to go for mobility, and then stone bulwark. Stone bulwark. Also, we have less movement, of course, because we don't have a green or red character in this faction, or uh, in this army, leading the army. Uh, yeah, battle running speeds. Pretty nice. Alright, honestly, even with all that bonus stuff, he's not particularly... He's level 5, and he's only got 190 to 40. He's just not very good. I mean, careless is kind of shit, incompetent is crap. He's just kind of shit in general. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Alright, so, do I start heading towards his town immediately? I can get there... Well, it says I can get there next turn, but I don't believe that. Um, I mean, we are right here. I think I am just going to go here and just encamp, I guess? Gives me extra military supplies as well, which is good. And then next turn we just head towards him, I think. We're not fully replenished, but I'm sure we could take him on. Well, I mean, he's not actually necessarily in there either, because he, he confederated with them. So his army went this way, but it might just be over here somewhere, and I just can't quite see it. That's something to keep in mind as well. Right, so our income is much better now, because we're no longer suffering all the minus shit. Uh, I guess I can start doing these things now. Right, that's something I should do. 
I can instantly level up a character. That is pretty good as well for 70. We have 1,710. So if I wanted to use this one every single time. So it costs 120. If I wanted to use it 10 times, which is 150 turns, which is way more than I ever need for this campaign, that would be 1,200. So I'd still have 510 left over, and I'll be able to use this for 150 turns. So yeah, we don't have to worry too much. Kind of wanted to spawn an exceptional ancillary just to find out what that does. And then we can... That one's not super relevant. Let's do this one. Can I do multiple? Does it does it matter? Can I level up my... I can level up Liu Zhang. Holy shit. So you could get like... If you were to get Liu Bei or something at level 9, you could just like, oh, 70 points to make him level 10. Even though that takes fucking ages normally. That's insane. Let's spawn an exceptional ancillary. Or does it, hap does it take a turn or something? Applies instantly. Well, does it? Oh, there you go. A Jade Horseman. Eh. Not really super useful in this particular army, but sure. Uh, okay. Then I... Yeah, I mean, we have enough to keep this one up for fucking ever. So even though it's not going to do anything probably... M or not much right now. Still useful. And then do I level someone up for 70 as well? Or do I actually be a little bit careful with my points? Let's just see. Hold on. How long does it normally take for me to finish a campaign? So, this one's unfinished, this one's unfinished, but that one, 77 turns, 91, 80, 60, oh, that one's unfinished as well, 147, 159, uh, but I think those ones were probably, actually, is that the same one? I think that's, just... King... wait, Liu Chong, Liu Zhi, okay, whatever the fuck. 96, 120, well, that's Sima Young, that's 8 princes, 162, 121, so yeah, normally it takes me around... Or let, it normally takes me less than 150, and we're already on turn 23, so we, we, would, we definitely don't need to use this for 10 turns. Although we did start out as a governor, so we, we have to, it's going to be one of the longer campaigns, because we have to take the free emperor seats manually and everything. So that it's going to be a little bit longer than you might think. But even so, I think we can spend 500 points. We've spent 50 already extra right now, so I, I think I will do this, but I'll wait for it to be a little bit more useful. I mean, he... Oh, also, I, I missed... Co okay, so the 10,000 XP is actually better than I thought, because I thought it was... It just resets the zero out of every time, but no, it it it's it just continues onwards. So never mind. I was wrong about the 10,000 experience. I mean, it's still pretty crap, to be fair, but... Anyway. Um, right. I think we can just end the turn. Can't afford anything. Happiness is still pretty crap, but that'll go up over time. Who is my heir right now? That's a thing. No one. Right, so I could choose to inherit someone and make them my heir. I could make Liu Yan my heir. Get plus free satisfaction, faction wide, income for peasantry, available trade agreement. I need to have a look at that trade agreement as well. I don't think there's anyone available to trade, but still. And she would give me two satisfaction, two public order, and 10% character experience. Not the most exciting prospects, to be honest. And of course, we can't see them because they're not part of my family tree. Um. He doesn't, of course, yeah, he doesn't cost me anything because he's a family member. Interesting. I kind of want to make him my heir because it's not even, even terrible. And he'll probably die soonish anyway, and then I can just make someone else my heir. But I can still get the bonuses for the moment. It doesn't cost me anything. Eh, I'm tempted. It's kind of funny, also, to make him my heir. I mean, while we don't have a son, it's not even that illogical, or illogical to make my father my heir, I guess. Yeah, fuck it, let's make him my heir. doesn't cost me anything. just gives me a bunch of bonuses for no, for, for nothing, so... Sounds good. Hey, Dad, you want me to? I'll do the inheritance thing with you as well, right? You do. Any, you need to do about. You need to duel three times and this and that, and then you can become my my. Uh, you can take over a timely inheritance, and then we do just keep going back and forth and give each other massive buffs. Sounds like a good idea. All right, let's see if we see Duosi show up. Oh, I should have looked at the trade agreement. I'll do it next turn. I may have missed out on a bunch of money then, but oh well. Here he comes. Oh, that's a different army. Interesting. Shamoka declared war on Duosi. Okay, that's probably good for me. See, again, it doesn't show one of them. Zhang Yan signed peace with Gao Gan. It's not super relevant, but still. Ooh, Wei Chun's got some legendary gear over here. He is stubborn, weak, and sincere. Ugh, that weak just kind of ruins him. I wouldn't have hired him anyway, but he's got... Legendary gear, or maybe, I don't know if it's legendary or silver, but it's either way, it's very good gear. 
Uh, again, no one that's really exciting or to get exciting over. Excited over, even. I can't speak anymore. Uh, anyway. Oh, we got another faction council thing we can do. So we can have some... Ra okay, it's just raids or raids. Not super useful right now. We'll have to wait and see if we can get something better at some point. Uh, oh, look at the supplies flying up now. There we go. Finally. Although we have an extra 10 right now, but still. Could you take this place? Probably, actually, yes. Hmm, that's a bit annoying. I could consider build recruiting a, uh, a retinue here. we still got Chi Ling around, so we could just recruit. That might not be a bad idea. And then we could have this army go on the offensive. That, however, is going to be next time. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Next time, we're continuing on the Liu Zhang. I'm probably on the, on the thumbnail, either from this episode onwards or the next episode onwards. It's going to be the other way around. So I had Liu Yan and then Liu Zhang behind him. I'm going to turn that around with Liu Yan behind Liu Zhang. Maybe I'll even change it to every time there's a new heir. I put the new heir behind him. We'll see. Until next time, have a good day and goodbye.